what we would like to do is uh, make a perpendicular bisector of a segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a segment out here. And to begin with, we're going to uh, first create the perpendicular bisector of this segment as though we were using traditional tools, but using GeoGebra as our technology. So the way we'll do that is we will pretend like we've got our compass. We'll come up here and grab a circle and we're going to draw a circle with a radius of length AB whose center is at A. We'll turn right around and we'll make center at B and another circle with radius AB with center at B. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will put a point on the intersection of those two circles here and here. And now we'll grab our straight edge tool which is going to be our our line through two different points. We'll click here and we'll draw our line through those points and we just created the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Now how do we know that it is a perpendicular bisector? Well let's check out the bisector bit first. What I'd like to do is place a point where those two intersect. That's That would be the midpoint of segment AB. And then we'll place a segment from A to E and from B to E. And you'll notice over here as we were creating them over here in our algebra window, as I mouse over this F, you'll see that uh, not only does the segment EB light up, but it says it's segment, it, it's, the length F is segment BE, and it's 1.27 uh, centimeters long. And if I mouse over E, you'll notice that AE lights up, and it's, this is segment AE, and so there's the proof that those two segments, AE and AB, or BE, are the same length, 1.27 centimeters. Well, that, that proves they're, they're, uh, it's a bisector. Now, how do we know that it's perpendicular? Well, to prove that, we'll go up and grab this angle measure tool and we'll say we'll measure angle B, E, and C and it tells us that it is indeed uh, 90 degrees and it puts the right angle mark on it there and this doesn't matter notice these are still bisecting and it's still 90 degrees. Okay that's how to um, make how to make a perpendicular bisector with GeoGebra but mimicking the traditional construction tools of straight edge and compass. Now we'll quickly show you how the power of GeoGebra can actually make a perpendicular bisector uh, much quicker, much faster, and use the technology directly. So let's get us another segment here and we'll just place it right there. And then what I want to do is I would like to make a perpendicular bisector. So I actually choose the perpendicular bisector tool. Now that tells me I'm going to have to select two points or one segment. So I can either come down here and click that point. Now notice wherever I'm going, wherever that other point is, it's going to put a perpendicular bisector of that up. There it is. It's that easy. That's not mimicking the traditional tools, just using the power of the technology.